Hi, my name is Mimi Lee, and I will be presenting about how cultural differences affect an infant's development. An important factor in a child's development is how the child interacts with their parents. One thing that can be affected is the infant's personal space, and this can be due to influences such as bodily contact and face-to-face -face contact. In a study by Heidi Keller, she observed the parent-infant interaction within different cultural contexts, including urban middle-class Germans. Over time, they were observed, and the Germans displayed the least amount of bodily contact, but more face-to-face -face contact. And this led to the observation that the babies who grew up with this type of interaction were able to interact as separate beings with their mothers and involve themselves in turn-taking conversations. Along with bodily contact and face-to-face -face contact, the environment where a gr child grows is a big factor in the infant's personal space. Among the cultures throughout the world, there's a big debate on where the baby should sleep. In families of European descent who grew up in North American households, they will usually dedicate a separate room where their infants will live in, starting from the day they come home from the hospital. A majority of families have the infant sleep in the room, either sleeping on the bed with their mother or sleeping on a different bed. Co-sleeping is very much common throughout the world, whereas providing separate sleeping arrangements for the infant is not as common. In situations that involve the child sleeping in a separate room, they learn to cry out to their parents when they need something, whereas sleeping in the same room as the child creates no need for them to call out to the mothers. Children who were attached to their mothers display a larger personal space boundary, and those who had an insecure attachment relationship with their mothers grew to have a smaller personal space boundary and were able to deal with larger disruptions in their personal space. Because of different cultural beliefs, there are different ways that can develop a child into crawling or walking. For instance, cultures in Africa, the Caribbean, and India raise their infants with massages and exercise routines daily. This includes stretching the limbs or sitting the child up, and these factors have caused the children to be able to sit on their own and walk at earlier stages of their childhood. In other cultures, infants sleep on their back rather than their stomachs and show a delay in this development of crawling, rolling over, or standing. Some cultures do not promote crawling, and so the infants start to scoot around or even start directly walking. And so with many cultures in the world, children grow up with different lifestyles and beliefs that affect the way they develop. These are my sources. Thank you and have a nice day.